Konnichiwa, all you uh, YouTube watchers. I haven't uh, been, uh, I haven't done any videos for a while, so I thought I'd let you know what I've been up to. And basically, I'm uh, making my own uh, oars. I'm in the paddle process. Let me uh, reset up here and give you a better angle of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm also working on the rudder for the ONP pod. I was having problems with it, and I'll explain that here too if I don't run out of battery. I started out making a, uh, a blade. I thought maybe I could try some foam. There's a little bit of wood in there with glass on it, but it it uh, it didn't. It was uh, you know it's too flexible, so I didn't got rid of it. So I went down and got some. Uh, inch and a half aluminum tubing for a, from a local supplier and then I found that uh, inch and a half uh, black plastic pipe uh, is a good size to fit over. I'm going to put some um, uh, liner, uh, something, I don't know, tape or something on the inside and then this little uh, fitting on the end here is a, an inch and a half by two inch plug the inch and a half would go in the inside part and then this would go inside of a two inch pipe and make it an adapter but it's perfect for where's my warlock at for making an ore keeper to where you know it goes in here and then it goes on your on your ore and then you got that and also I took some uh, Clothes hanger, uh, tubing, or rod. That's why I believe inch and five sixteenths, and that's a nice fit for inside the tubing. What I did do was add two wraps of six ounce cloth to the round round of the outside, and uh, this piece of doweling here is about fourteen inches long, and I got six inches exposed, so there's eight inches inside that I have wrapped with the cloth. And I found that. To uh, wrapping, I should have done that on camera, but the big secret there is to get a straight line on your wood. And I don't know if this is, you know, you just get a flat surface someplace and then take your pencil and just draw along the edge. And now you've got a, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, there it is. Now you got a straight line. And so what I did was I added, I put the, uh, here's a little bit. I put the cloth on the one edge here and then wetted it out and then just started wrapping it around this direction as I wet out and then another full wrap until I got to the end and then uh, give it a good sand on the ends and I think what I'm going to do too here with, to finish up this rough edge I think I might stand it on Ed and take some gel magic and use a uh, uh, putty knife to, to push it in to, to make a nice puddle around here to um, finish, finish that off. But uh, this is one of my blades. I still hate this lens. Can I? Yeah. I took the uh, doweling here and I, I, I layered up. This is four millimeters and then I got two layers. Uh, I believe one's an inch wide and the other one's a half an inch wide stacked on top of each other. Getting the center line right so that the shaft here is even with the uh, with the blade is, is problematic. I think the next time I'm go I do this, now that I know how the this thing is coming out, I will take, take my uh, uh, doweling and then uh, all you have to do is, you know, where you're not going to saw or you know, saw part is to screw in a block of wood so that it keeps it from rotating. So this line is always up. That I will go ahead and mark off on my bandsaw. I'll cut a gap on both sides, uh, the thickness of this plus maybe the this, this strong back part, and then I'll, that'll make it a little easier to line up because on this part, it's I had to. It's like two pieces on the round part that I clamped in and it was a bear to try to get that straightened up but now I've got it uh, fairly well smoothed down and so I'll be putting a layer of cloth on that 
and I guess we can I can do that on another video. And let me reset up again and show what I'm doing with my rudder. And this was the uh, rudder for the O&P pod, and it originally came down about in here. And so I added some material to it. I also dug out wherever it went to. I cut out this thickness in uh, down in here and added some uh, lead weight in there because I had a problem the first time I was out sailing this thing. The, uh, I took my hands off the, uh, the rudder and next thing I know I'm trying to turn over because with the this long oar or rudder tiller, I'll get the right word yet, uh, it was it weighed more ahead of the the pins here, the pintles, uh, than what the rudder did. And so if you took your hands off of it, the weight of the of the angles like this would just go <laughs> on its own. So I found that the weight of one little clamp was enough to adjust it. So by the time I add on this extra uh, piece of plywood in here and the glass, and then I'm fairing it up right now with the System 3 fairing compound, uh, so that it'll be uh, in sh back to where it'll work fine again. So, and I got a couple other things I did. Let me go get them. And another thing I made was a um, uh, mast carrier. Um, my mast, uh, a sailboard mast that I'm using. I find that those sailboard masts are really great for for making a gaff rig uh, setup. Uh, then I just put this through on the front of the boat is the, the mast partner with the two inch hole in it. And then this goes down through the front end and supports the front end of the mast. And then I took a piece of wood and made a Y that goes into the uh, grudgeons on the transom. And then that fits in in here. And I've got an extra set of holes to make another one of these. These are uh, uh, U-bolts, but the square kind. And there must have been... Uh, about five inch wide by about three inches tall, and I cut them in half, and they're three eighths, and so they fit perfectly in the pintles. And so I need to get another one because this distance between here and here will fit the uh, O and P pod. So then I'll be able to use this back and forth both boats because I only have one trailer. So uh, one or the other will work for that. So, um, well, I have one one of the oars blades. It's glassed on the back side. You can see where I had the uh, fillet material here. I also put some uh, tape here. I'll cut along this line and that'll give me a nice clean edge for the pipe to come down. And I'll also wrap this whole thing again later with uh, some more cloth. But when I uh, wrapped it around, this is the other one I haven't done yet, I was debating whether or not to uh, just leave it be and then, and, you know, I can't leave things be when I start looking at something. Uh, there has maybe a possibility in it. So I thought, okay. So while it, it came back maybe an hour later and it was kind of, uh, you know, tacky, still green, but uh, tacky. And I just pulled it over and held it down with a bunch of little pieces of tape, which is, I was debating whether or not what kind of edge I was going to put on this thing. So it, it actually came in pretty good. And I took my, uh, my sharp knife, where in the hell did it go? my utility knife and cut along the edge here and it was just basically you know right along here underneath the tape and so that gave me a mostly wrapped over there's a few areas here where it's not quite stuck down but I'm going to put a layer of uh, fillet material or not fillet but fairing compound all the way around and that'll hold it down it'll give me something to sand to and then I'll put a layer of cloth over this but we'll get back to that when we come to it so stay tuned for more it's coming out better than what I thought it was going to be, and it's uh, fairly stiff too with this backing part in here, which is two layers like I showed you before with the fairing compound. So we'll come back. I guess I can have you uh, watch me do a little bit. So I'm going to take my, my utility knife and just run about an eighth of an inch in. If this had been uh, more laid down, I probably would have, uh, I would just leave all of the glass, but it, I won't.
So you can see how it comes up here. And then just work your way down around the the corner. And that all comes off. I'll probably do a little bit more fairing down around in here to smooth it out when I get around to that spot. So Let me go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera, but it's basically just all of that way around. We'll come back when I'm fairing. And I got my System 3 quick fair all mixed up here, so probably way more than what I'm going to need. Let's mix that down first. Probably would have been easier if I would have bagged this. And then you could just squeeze out a little bit of a little bead. Sand's fairly easy, so. sand this down and put a layer of glass on it so give it a good scrape so you don't have big gobs and like I said I was going to take my finger and build it up in here I can uh, sand it down shape it later Okay, let me go ahead and get the next one. You can do that off camera. <laughs> 